name is David Spence. I'm president of the Graham Owners Club International, and today we're going to talk to you a little bit about Graham Page, the company that built this car in 1939 Graham, and its antecedents. This car, in its day, was very avant-garde, but not very popular. On the other hand, it's from a company that was, at one time, quite popular. And it has its antecedents clear back to 1910 in the Page Detroit Automobile Company. From 1910 to 1927, that company was really quite successful. In the mid-20s, they built the most modern automobile factory in the world. But they had a problem. Their car sales were falling, so they decided they wanted to sell out. About the same time, three brothers from Indiana, the Graham brothers, decided they wanted to be in the car business totally for themselves and were looking for a company. Now, who were the Graham brothers? Well, they made their money first in glass with Graham Glass, which later became part of Libby Owens Ford Glass. They then went on to make truck builders where they converted Model T's as well as other cars to trucks and were quite successful at that. Then went into full truck production. In the early 1920s, the Graham brothers built more trucks than any other, brother, any other car company or truck company in the entire world. Their trucks, though, were sold by the Dodge brothers. Dodge originally did not have a truck division. It was Graham trucks that were sold by Dodge. Later on, once the Grahams were no longer involved with Dodge, they would change the name of Graham Brothers Trucks to Dodge Brothers Trucks. So Dodge Trucks today found their way to the market from Graham. But how did Graham get to be Graham Page? Well, here's what happened. When the Dodge Brothers died, Dylan and Reed, who then owned Dodge Brothers, had the Graham Brothers run the company for about six months. Nobody's for sure what exactly happened, but the three Graham brothers decided they did not want to be part of that organization anymore, and they left. When they left, they took their money, they went shopping, that's how they bought Page, and they went in the business of Graham Page for themselves and said they were in the business of making cars to stay. This particular car is something from the late 30s, of course, when they were trying to still stay in business. Now, we should understand that Graham Page was very unique because these brothers were exceptionally rich and able to keep a car company in business that wasn't making money from the entire beginning, practically, all the way through the 1930s. They only had a very short time of profitability because the 1930s was not kind to most car companies. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to tell you a little bit about...